back when I was a kid, my dad bought a farm. That's really kind of where I started working. There was a, this one old dilapidated fence that we fixed up and I would have to paint sections of it. And, and I enjoyed it. You know, that was where I really started working, you know, and I was probably around probably eight, nine years old when I started. And, you know, my dad would get these uh, books out and we would be studying them, basically reading them. And, and they would be success stories, you know, talking about enthusiasm and how you work with people and just having a positive attitude. And, you know, things like, you know, whatever the mind believes and conceives, it'll achieve, you know, and I, I firmly believe that. Some of the old books that I have to this day are books that, you know, I read as a little kid. We both met at the YMCA. I was probably, I was 18 years old, graduated, it was probably in the September time frame, and I was working out with this friend of mine, and I saw um, this girl in front of me. He was actually laying on the bench, so he was laying down, he couldn't see, I was just kind of spotting him. I'm like, who's that girl? So he kind of gets up to look, and then he's like, hey, Ray Jean. So he knew her, you know, and that was kind of my, that was the first time we met. We'd go out, you know, running around as friends, and I used to always wonder, I wonder if he likes me. This is actually where Ray Jean lived, right here in this second house here. I walked her up to the door, I walked her into her house. She steps up on the step and that was my first kiss. So it's a good story. Oh, and I can make you wait forever. We can make it out together. And that's the house. We lived on the top floor of that house. But pretty much looks the same. It looks as of just a block building. And that's where we lived. That's actually where we lived when we got married, and we didn't even get dressed in that house. We actually got dressed at the YMCA to get ready for our wedding. You know, it's funny, back in the day when we were first dating, you know, I couldn't afford anything. So I sent Ray Jean, she was working at Hanover Foods at the time, and I sent her a rose, one rose. That's all I could afford. And in the card, I said, I said, I'm not a millionaire yet. I said, but someday I'll get you more than one rose. Can you feel it? The other side will make it. But as time progressed, you know, we started having kids, had Michael, uh, our first our first child and then um, we started our, our building business around that time that he was born. This is the first, not the most attractive house, but it was a nice house. It was a nice first house that we built. And it's right there. That was just a lot. That was just uh, one lot and we built, uh, we built both of these houses right here, both of these duplexes. What would happen is, is so I was, I was down in NSA for a period of time, and, and half that time I was doing both the business and NSA. Uh, wasn't easy uh, because I was up very early in the morning and I was up very late. Uh, so I would literally be going and checking jobs with flashlights and stuff prior to me driving down. I was excited though. I was always excited to get back to see the progress of the house, um, to see what happened. But during those days, there I would like in the evening I would create these lists, and I would give it to Ray Jean. And um, <laughs> you, you like my list, didn't you? As kids, we had shovels and rakes, and we were in the yard, always playing with you know bulldozers and all the tractors and whatnot. We would make forts in the woods. We 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 loved the woods. We loved building. We loved we loved doing things. When we were uh, little, uh, we were uh, uh, out in the job site all the time uh, with my parents. Um, whether it be uh, him pointing things out and teaching us, or whether it was us physically working on the job sites. During the summer, some summers we were weed whacking, you know, nonstop. Um, my dad would drive by in his truck and put the window down a little bit during the 100 degree days and say, is everything okay out there? And we'd be drenched in sweat. Family is uh, very important to me. When, you know, I think about a child and 
you know, you're thinking about, well, what do you want to be? Um, a mother was top prior to me and a wife, and I wanted to be able to stay home with my kids. So this business uh, that we started together uh, allowed me to do that, and uh, I'm forever grateful for that. My mom is the absolute best counterpart to my dad. Um, the relationship that they have, you don't find very often. Um, you know, you meet a lot of people in your life and you think, well, maybe they're similar to them, but at the end of the day, you've never met uh, a relationship such as my mom and dad. When growing up, people asked, uh, what do you want to be? You know, you say baseball player and you say stuff like that, but we really looked up to our dad, to be honest with you. And, um, you know, we wanted to make sure that we had good morals and good values and good work ethic like he did. Uh, and luckily, you know, knock on wood, you know, he taught us all those qualities and did a very good job at it. Describe my dad. A good way to describe my dad is the hardest working individual you'll ever meet one of the smartest people you ever meet. Organized, uh, caring, he's definitely got a caring heart. Uh, there's situations over the years that uh, he's given lots of people opportunities. Um, and some, you know, and there's uh, situations where we're like, uh, are you sure on this? And he's right every time. My blessing in life is, is truly the fact that I'm able to work with my sons every day. There are times when, you know, Regine calls me up at uh, four o'clock. Uh, you know, I'm gonna invite the kids over for dinner. I'm like, and now? I said, I've been with them all day long. I said, we'll do a dinner another day. But I love every minute with them. Took a lot of hard work. Uh, didn't come for free. We worked hard and very, very proud of what we've achieved and now what the kids are all taking it to the next level and really doing well. For all the generations to come, we worked hard to start this business and uh, keep working hard, stay true, stay honest, and most importantly, adore your family. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good thought. Yeah, just um, keep your family important and your faith important. Okay, you guys ready for the interview? That was a pre-interview. That was good. Oh. You had a lot of quiet time. I'm like, when's he gonna talk? Yeah.